In the last session, I discussed motherboard types and components of motherboard. Mainly there are four types of motherboard that is XT, AT, Baby AT and ATX motherboard. Motherboard consists of seven different components that is processor, BIOS, CMOS, disk controller, slots, ports and interfaces and bus. In today's session, I am going to discuss about computer memory. A memory is just like a human brain. It is used to store data or instructions. Computer memory is the storage space in the computer. A device that is used to store data or programs on a temporary or permanent basis for use in an electronic digital computer. There are two types of memory that is internal memory and external memory. What is internal memory? Internal memory refers to memory that stores small amounts of data that can be accessed quickly while the computer is running. And internal memory includes registers, cache memory and primary memory which can be directly accessed by the processor. So internal memory includes registers, cache memory, and primary memory. The features of internal memory are is a temporary storage memory and limited storage capacity and fast access and high speed. So first we will see what is register. Registers are high speed storage unit within the CPU and register is a temporary storage area for holding data and instructions. What is cache memory? Cache memory is a high speed semiconductor memory which can speed up the CPU and cache memory is used to reduce the average memory access times and it is faster than main memory. It stores the program that can be executed within a short period of time. This is about cache memory. Next we have primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory is computer memory that a processor or computer accesses directly. Accessing data from primary memory faster because it is an internal memory of the computer. Primary memory is faster compared to secondary memory. The computer can't run without primary memory. And primary memory consists of RAM and ROM. Random access memory and read only memory. What is secondary memory? Secondary memory is where programs and data are kept on a long term basis. Example, hard disk, floppy disk, magnetic disk, flash drives, etc. Next we have random access memory. What is RAM? RAM stands for random access memory. RAM is generally known as a main memory of the computer system. It is called temporary memory. The information stored in this type of memory is lost when the power supply to the PC or laptop is switched off. So RAM is volatile memory. You can read, store data randomly at any time and from any physical location. It is a temporary storage memory. The types of RAM is SRAM, DRAM, SDRAM and DDR-SDRAM. So first one is SRAM. SRAM stands for static RAM. Static RAM is made up of 4 to 6 transistors. It keeps data in the memory as long as the power is supplied to the system unlike DRAM. SRAM is faster but also more expensive it stores information as long as the power supply is on. And second one we have dynamic RAM. DRAM stands for dynamic RAM. It is the most common type of memory chip. DRAM is cheaper and they consume less power. And RAMs are further classified as SDRAM and DDR SDRAM. So what is SDRAM? SDRAM stands for synchronous dynamic random access memory is a special type of DRAM that is synchronized to the system clock. It knows when the next cycle is coming and has data ready when the CPU requests it. 
This increases efficiency by reducing CPU waiting time. What is DDR SD RAM? Double data rate synchronous dynamic random access memory. It works the same way does ordinary SD RAM. Data transfer is double when compared to SD RAM. So these are the types of RAM. Static random access memory, dynamic random access memory, SD RAM, synchronous dynamic random access memory and DDR SD RAM that is double data rate synchronous dynamic random access memory. And next we have SD RAM and DDR SD RAM. SD RAM stands for synchronous dynamic random access memory. It is a special type of DRAM that is synchronized to the system clock. It knows when the next cycle is coming and has the data ready when the CPU requests it. This increases efficiency by reducing CPU waiting time. This is called SD RAM. Next we have DDR SD RAM. Double data rate synchronous dynamic random access memory. It works the same way as does ordinary SD RAM. Data transfer is double when compared to SD RAM. So these are the types of RAM, SRAM, DRAM, SDRAM and DDR SD RAM. And next we have ROM. ROM stands for read only memory. ROM is a permanent type of memory. Its content is not lost when the power supply is switched off. So it is non-volatile memory. RAM is volatile memory. ROM is non-volatile memory. The computer manufacturer decides the information of ROM and it is permanently stored at the time of manufacturing which cannot be overwritten by the user. This is about RAM and ROM. Next we have power supply to a computer system. Electric power is the main source of supply for the operation of electronic components of a computer. There are two types of power supply connected to a computer system. They are SMPS and UPS. What is SMPS? Switch mode power supply. Switching power supplies have high efficiency and are widely used in a variety of electronic equipment. Including computers and other sensitive equipment requiring stable and efficient power supply. This is about SMPS switch mode power supply. Next we have UPS. So UPS stands for uninterruptible power supply. It is a power supply that includes battery to maintain power in the event a power failure. A UPS is typically used to protect hardware such as computers, data centers, telecommunication equipment or other electrical equipment where an unexpected power disruption could cause injuries, serious business disruption and data loss. There are two types of UPS that is online UPS and offline UPS. So what is online UPS? An online UPS continuously provides a power from its own inverter. What is offline UPS? Offline UPS is also known as standby UPS. Standby UPS monitors the power line and switches to battery power as soon as it detects a problem. This is about UPS. Mainly there are two types that is online UPS and offline UPS. Moving to the last part of this chapter is assembling a computer system. Computer configuration is the process of setting up your hardware devices and assigning resources to them so that they work together without problems. With this we have end of chapter 1 typical configuration of a computer system. In the next session I will discuss second chapter that is boolean algebra. Thank you.